Hello and welcome back to Drunk on Wonderlust. Today we are tackling the Torpel Way, which is an 11 mile walk starting in Peterborough and going all the way to Stamford. We're here at the start line in South Breton and we're heading up this way towards Marham, so let's do it. Today we are using the GPS map of this trail on the Hiker app. The sun was out so we wanted to make the most of the good weather and take in a local route. The Torpel Way includes some of the best countryside to be seen locally with serene agricultural land and charming villages. The path is way marked although in various sections the use of a map is advised as it's easy to wander of course. We have been so lucky with the weather today. Now I have walked to Stamford from Peterborough a few times and have always tended to go in this direction down here. However, because we are doing the Torpel Way today, which is a set route and we're following it off the Hiker app, the route is gonna take us down this way. So it would be a nice change to see something different. Now this was a nice relaxing walk so far. Last week, we were hiking the Bronte Way across the Lancashire and Yorkshire Moors. So the first thing we noticed was how flat this entire route was, with a total elevation of only 477 foot. Easy. I think it's really handy on the app that you can search for hikes of any length as well, because this time of year, with today being the exception, it's normally quite a lot colder, so camping overnight is not ideal. And with work commitments with people, sometimes you can't find the time, so it's handy just to have your little day hikes that you can do. We totally agree with that statement. Take this week for example. This weekend we've been everywhere, we've done five gigs in a row, we've been to Weymouth, Dorset, now we're in Durham, love that for us. And we don't have any time for any major hikes this week, just a day hike. Let's take a little look at what we've been up to. So that is what we've been up to this week. Now back to the trail. And what about you guys? What has everybody been up to this week? Have you managed to get out on a hike or a camp? Let us know in the comments below. We love having a good catch up and a natter with everybody. We carried on soaking up the September sun, but started to get hungry around the halfway mark. We checked the map and saw we were almost at Helpston Village and decided to take a little pit stop. So the route takes you around the outskirts of the village of Helpston. Um, we decided that we wanted to get some more snacks and a Diet Coke, so we just went to the little shop. There is also a pub, the Bluebell, if you want to sit and have a pint and just have a little rest. Feeling refreshed after our snack stop, we headed back to the trail, chatting away about our upcoming autumn adventures. October is going to be an exciting month. We've got so much planned. A canal boat holiday, another long distance hiking trail, and even a Halloween wild camp on Haunted Pendle Hill, the location of the Lancashire Witch Trials. I literally cannot wait. So we are just walking past the village of Ashton. So by my calculations, I reckon we've got about four and a half miles left to go. What do you reckon, Danny? I think about four. We can do it. About four? Yeah. We'll work out exactly what it is and let you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, not long now. Almost at Stamford. Woo woo. It turns out we were a little optimistic. We checked the app and there was still over five miles left. Oh no. I think I'm not happy. <laughs> Maybe it's having a nap for you. Luckily, they were behind barbed wire, so no scary cow encounters this time. After leaving Ashton Village, the trail takes you across more agricultural land before a short section of woodland as you head towards Barnock. It 
was here we had the nicest surprise of the trail so far. Hey, hey. The Torpel Way skirts the perimeter of a pig farm. They were so adorable. Although we were both quite thankful we still hadn't got our sense of smell back yet from after COVID, we had to climb around a nice big pile of pig poop. Great. Love this for me. Mmm. <laughs> so nice. section the last two miles and we're now walking alongside the river Welland but it's nearly gin time because we're well thirsty and we need to get to the pub yeah. as always gin was the priority one and a half miles left to go almost there I'm gonna wait until we get to Stanford for a wee I'm gonna go in the pub I'm not going to do any wild wheeze on this trek. No! <laughs> Even though we hadn't seen another soul in ages, Danny was determined to wait another mile before using the bathroom. I, on the other hand, was not so fussy, as I was used to multi-day through hikes. Finally, we reached the outskirts of Stamford, and I had gin on the brain as we crossed over the bridge and made our way into the town centre. made it to Stamford along the Tor Bell Way and now what we're going to do, find the pub. I had always loved the pretty market town of Stamford and one place in particular was dear to my heart, good old Weatherspoons. Well there you go, thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm just going to take a quick minute to tell you about the Hiker app. Now if you haven't already got the Hiker app, it's an absolutely fantastic edition I highly recommend it and it is completely free so why not check it out yourselves I have included a link in the video description below and also a discount code a little cheeky discount in case anybody wanted to use the premium offline versions as well now the hiker app isn't just for the hardcore professional hikers that like to do the big long multi-day hikes it is suitable for everybody whether you're a beginner and you like to just do short day walks or if you want to try a slightly longer hike over a few days, it's suitable for that too. Now the feature that I really like to use is the filter. So if you open up the app and you click on the filter, you can pick the kind of route that is specifically tailored for your needs. So you can scroll down, have a look what country you're in because obviously it covers multiple countries. I'm in the UK so I'm going to click on that. I'll scroll down a little bit further and you can choose what length of walk you want it to do. So you can scroll that across, pick that and it will come up with a list of suitable trails. So there you go, you can have a little look through, pick the one you want, open it up and it will give you the map and all the details of that particular walk. Now this app is so easy to use. If I can use it, <laughs> anyone can use it. And it, like I said, it's suitable for everybody, so make sure you check it out. And don't forget, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. I've got so much coming up in October, it's unreal. I'm, like, I'm so excited. Like I said earlier in the video, I've got my canal boat trip next week. I'm even taking a little trip off to uh, Bosworth Battlefield, which will be cool, learn about all the history there. And then I'm doing another multi-day hike the week after, thinking about doing the Werryman's Way. If anybody's done it, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you found it. And that goes from Norwich to Great Yarmouth over three days. Um, after that, I've got, later on in the month, a wild camp up on Haunted Pendle Hill. Ooh, gonna do that over Halloween. So loads of cool stuff coming up, so make sure you click that notification bell and find out when my next adventure is. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.